Well, we got a special edition of IBL Unscripted tonight. This guy actually asked to be on the show, which is, you know, unheard of in my world, so this is awesome. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Braden Fred Arrington is joining us tonight on IBL Unscripted. Braden, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy Tuesday oh. night to hang out with us and chat. Yeah, you know what? It's a pleasure to even be on this with you, so, you know what? All the power to everybody that wants to do content, so... Yeah, well, we're trying to we're trying to we're trying to grow the league the best we can, and you know we can throw it in much bunch of people's faces, and that's what we try to do as much as possible. It's kind of like throwing spaghetti against the wall and hoping something sticks. <laughs> yeah, like it's it might make a mess, but hey, if it, if it sticks, it, it starts clicking, then hey, who knows? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go back through your social media because you know you freaked me out last year. <laughs> but that, we're not gonna show the picture because I just I don't know. Every time I look at, it, I just kind of go. Ey. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going, talking about the broken hand, broken limb, big toe damage, concussion, pulled hamstring, sprained wrist, wrist ligament damage. The seventh seed took the, the number two seed to game five. Nobody saw it coming, but actually I did, but that's beside the point. Just because I give the London majors a lot of credit for battling as far as they did last year to get even that far. Yeah. Um, five yeah, pitchers I, I, going into the postseason. <laughs> I know that tweet that I sent out. You know what? Obviously, the season didn't go the way we wanted it to go. Nope. That's very in the forefront of what it was. Uh, that tweet was mainly... Yeah, it, was, it was subtle. Yeah. Enough where, you know what? It's like, that's what we had to deal with. Yep. Every player... That's what was going on. Well, exactly. Well, so, Rupert, would, like, I would do a couple of games in London last year. It's like, I can't give you the lineup right now. And then when he did set the lineup up, he sent another guy up five minutes later. I got to change the lineup. I'm just like, man, yeah. these guys are banged up. Oh, yeah. And it was just yeah, like, it okay. Was, uh, yeah, it was kind of, you know what? <laughs> Next man up mentality. Yeah, well, exactly. It it's just. Didn't matter what position. It was like, all right, well. Well, you pinched around for Cleveland at one point in the one game. Even I was just like, okay. <laughs> and then you go, go go out there and throw seven innings against the Guelph Royals. I'm like, this is like, okay. Like that was thing. Yeah, that, you know what? I, that, that game was interesting enough. Um, obviously, we had we had our own issues going on that, this whole season, right? Yeah. But, um, again, I, I try not to be selfish when I play. Yeah. But, you know what? For... The, our team's sake, you know what? Somebody had to step up. Yep. And, and the selfish side of it was, you know what? None of the guys on the team were league leaders. Yeah. That was very clear. Yep. In the stats categories, at least. Yep. Uh, um, except for one stat that not many people look at was for pitchers, game appearances. Yep. Um, it came down to that last game where I believe the night before that. So me, so me and Mara yep. were going back and forth the whole year about yep. games appeared in, right? Yep. And he threw the night before, I believe, or two days before that, yep. before the Leafs. Yep. And I was like, there's no shot that I'm going to like lose this because of like the last game. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Lo and behold, guess who's out there? Yeah. So I literally begged, I literally told Wales, our pitching coach, before the game, like, "Hey, if I get in for just like a batter, like, yep. cool." Yeah. So, so like, counts as an appearance. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I'm I'm all in on that. So it literally just kind of snowballed. It was like, "Hey, let's get into this game again." I'm I'm banged up at this point. Yeah. Like, this is like we're we're on you. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? Let's just do what we got here. This is not the season that I wanted. I don't think that was a season anybody um, planned from as yeah, far as yeah, London and everything. Nobody wanted what happened. Let's no. be clear about that. It was just one thing after another with you guys all last year. And it was just like, and I, yeah. I, I talked to Roop even. And he was just like, you could just see the, the guy. He wanted to tell me what was going on, but he couldn't tell me because he was worried. Didn't want things getting out postseason and everything else. So it was yeah, just like, you know like, like, he was frustrated. The guys from previous teams we were all frustrated everybody was frustrated it was just yep. a collective effort so i get into the game and i'm like you know what let's just see how this goes went to the first inning very quickly i'm like okay like let's see what we got here so yep. next inning same thing it was very smooth and i was like maybe make maybe you know what we have playoffs coming up 
obviously we've never been in this position before with standing wise. Yeah. So you know what? I'm gonna, I'm not having the greatest of seasons. I'm gonna take this on the chip. Yep. I don't care. Good, bad, ugly. If my area gets infl- inflated, yes. yeah. It is what it is. So I'm like, you know what? Can't get much worse. <laughs> and it just kind of kept going. And I was like, okay, cool. And then it got to like maybe, I guess it probably the sixth or seventh inning. Yep. If I can remember correctly, I, I, I think I came off and I was like, Rip, I'm going the rest of the game. Like, you're feeling good and just. What it is. I, yeah. I'm going. Yep. Um, and honestly, luckily, it it worked out. <laughs> yeah, it did. But obviously, you know what? Well, that was I think that was only the second time you've gone any more than I think that was your second second time in the IBL with like, you've gone seven innings or more. Yeah, yeah. Not now. I was outside of I think my first start in I think it was 2017, 2018. Yeah, something like yeah. yeah I, like, we had, we were digging around for it, which just even then it was like, kind of I didn't find it, but I think I saw a tweet of that or that Matt had put it together for the social media team or something, yeah. which is like that. Those guys yeah, do a great I mean, job, I mean, by the way. It felt really good, though. You know what? To, just to kind of like get not having a great season. Yep. Um, but just not quitting yep. on myself and on the team. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know, like I get, at the end of the day, I, I'm, I'm proud of that. Um, so it was cool. That, that's for sure. It's uh, somebody of, on the team that had to step up. I'm happy it was me. So nice. Um, I just want to go back and say, well, what kind of things go through your head when you're getting warmed up in the bullpen? Do you know who, what situation you're coming into most times, or is it kind of just like Rube's going to probably come down and say seventh, eighth, sixth, probably about the sixth inning or so? You're probably doing some stretching, some running, or whatever else, and then you're, you know you just got to be ready for whales and whoever else is coming down to say, hey, yeah, you're up would, next or what in next? Yeah, you know, I, I would say it's kind of a combination of that. Um, and you know what? Thankfully and luckily, I've been around the league enough to know batters. And what situation that I could be into. So versus like, say someone new to the league and they're yeah. warming up for the first time, they're literally using everything. And then all of a sudden they don't get in. Right. Yeah. Then, then what? Uh, at least I know how to kind of take the, I guess the foot off the gas a little bit yep. in certain spots when I'm warming up. So. You're not, uh, you're, I'm happy enough with that. So. Yeah, so you're not going yeah, out there. Ga- you're not going out there gassing up and okay, I'm, I'm looking around. Okay, when's he coming in for me? And it's like okay, yeah, yeah. it gets yeah. out of the inning and it's like Rip's like, oh, just sit down <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, no, that, that's definitely not the case. That's no, for sure, so exactly. it's definitely a combination of everything and and even like like a lot of the time, especially in the past couple of years, there's been a lot of communication too with Rube and Brent too. It's just like, hey, like, how are you feeling personally and physically? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, which is awesome. That, yeah. That's something that you know what a mm-hmm. lot of people don't see that on a day to day basis. No, exactly. And some other guys, he's like, okay, you kind of some managers have a set schedule. Okay, you're going to pitch whatever. You're going to pitch Thursday night. You're going to get into the sixth inning or seventh inning. Those are your guys. Doesn't matter whatever as far as this stuff goes. It's probably a little different preparation because you're okay sixth inning. You know, it's your inning regardless what the score is. Where right. where yeah. is when? You know, we we like to win. Yep. That's, there's no secret there. It's yep. you play to win. You don't play to go and have fun. And no, it's not a beer league. You, you, there's a time and place for that, but yeah, it's not here. No, no, it's not here. And I think just what is the what is the, the vibe you guys are getting this year? I know Roop's been really working really hard to get some of these guys back that weren't here last year, and just retooling yeah. too. So yeah, honestly, um, I've I've got to know a lot of the guys just just because I've. I'm, I'm around baseball a lot, yep. so um, you know I, we're we're in a very good spot. You know what? Especially at this time of the year, um, where we have some guys returning from previous seasons that you know were dominate. Yep. Uh, like like Jose Arias. You know that yep. guy. That guy's a true professional. A lot of people don't see a lot of the things that he does to prep for a, like a season and for a start. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that kind of kind of helps right and then you have like diolio coming back for his second year right like, yep. and yeah I, I like to kind of say hey you know what last year's team a lot of the guys were new they didn't yep. know what to expect yep. right where a lot of the veteran guys on that team try try to load it too much and out of their realm of what they can succeed with yeah so and, I, and i'm that's why I, I think i suck too like i tried too hard 
Yeah. Um, I think guys were just trying to, you know, they, were, they weren't seeing the, the load being carried, so they tried to put it on their backs and everything else, yeah. and something they're not yeah, used to. 100%. So I know having uh, Jose back can also help, I'm not going to say, like, lighten the load, but what he does, and the guys to see that, yeah. makes them want to be better. Exactly. So, he raises that bar as far as, okay. Yeah, and I think that's what, I think a lot of, I know a lot of times when teams don't succeed, they're kind of lost on what to do and, yep. you know, what, just you know, <coughs> not prepare for what's next, right? Especially if, especially if you haven't seen a lot of guys in the league. Oh, exactly. Right? So, for hit for Jose to come back for a second tour, I guess. Yeah. They say, um, you know, it's it's awesome. And you know, when when he reached out and said he was coming back, I, I was very much ecstatic about it because it's a guy that I know wants to win. Yep. How to win? And, and he's gonna and, he's gonna want he's gonna want that ball every third start. Oh gosh, yeah. And, and you know what? That's all, that's all you want out yep. of a team, right? Is guys that have that quote unquote dog in them, right? Yep. Where you, you need that to win. So, oh, exactly. Yeah. Then you have on the other side of the spectrum, Mr. Robotnik, uh, Owen Boone. I don't know how he went out there that Sunday and just kept going. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was uh, – you're not, you're not ever going to see that again. No. Mark and I are up in the press box and we're just like, he's still out there. Like, what the heck is going on here? It's like he's just yeah. – like if he if he would have found that other gear, I think he would have gone <laughs> to the complete game in that other game. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, you'll never see that again. No. That's uh, definitely definitely a once in a lifetime visual. Yeah, <laughs> it's just not happen again. No, I don't think. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't hope. That, I, I I hope it doesn't happen again. Just because it's just like it just tells you how bad it how how hurt a team is right there. As far as okay, yeah, yeah. it's uh, and, and in all honesty, like. Boone's a competitor. Like no question, he is. Like I got, I got, I, I get, I, I've been, I've grown up with a guy, so I've yep. seen it from really day one. He, he, he wants to win, and when he's in that zone, it's like, hey, like you really can't do a whole lot. No, like, it's well, we're up there, we're, we're, we're upstairs, running out of adjectives to describe what's going on out here because he's just like, a, he's yeah. like, he's throwing down the gauntlet, and he's, the, he's the, he's the matador, and the bulls charging right through him three times yeah. here, and it's like, yeah, you're gonna get sliced down again. Doesn't. 100%. Yeah. He's, uh, he's he's one of a kind. Love the guy. So. So you you started your career in Timmins, Ontario, born and raised, and then. How no, did, no, no, no. I, I was not there, Tim. You remember oh, Timmins? No. Okay, so it's just. No. So here here's that story because Mark. Yeah. Mark loves. It. So my brother actually went up there to play hockey. Yep. They so played played up there for the for the Timmins Rock in the North, Northern Ontario Junior Hockey League. Um, pretty much stayed. Up in Northern Ontario, he's now up in Capus Casing. Yeah, but I know Mark's. I think, I think it, might, it might have been his first sport gig was to cover the, t- the my brother's team. Nice. So that's kind of where our bond is. Okay. With that. so yeah, that's that's the story on that. One. Okay, I wasn't sure what was going on because I thought you, you came up to the yeah. with the press box when we were both working. The two Kitchener guys were covering the London game, and it's like, yeah, okay. Mark's wearing this Timmons jersey. I'm feeling like we're <laughs> way confused here, but yeah, he was having a blast as far as that stuff goes. Yeah, no, no, Timmons is way too north for me. I'm not, not that, not, not, not that guy. It's too cold. No, it's too cold. You can't play <laughs> yeah. baseball up there. You get eaten alive by mosquitoes and black flies and whatever else they got up there. Oh gosh, yeah, like moose. <laughs> the moose. <laughs> the, the moose eat people. Of, uh, I don't want to find out ever. So that's beside the point. And then you went to uh, St. Clair Community. I got yeah. it. It's the four. It's the four C's. It's Saint Clair. Yeah, yeah. Saint Clair County Community College. <laughs> yeah, I had my one of my best. My, one of my best friends went to Muskegon Community College, so I know the. Oh, nice. I know nice. the loop and everything else. So yeah, it was yeah, just. Good old Michigander. Yep, he came. He would always come back with like different country songs and whatever else. Like, oh, you gotta listen to this band. I'm like, who is this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was just. It was like, okay, the music is totally different down there. It's so oh, everything else, and then on that side of the set, that side of the state is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I was gonna go down for a visit, and then we realized how cold it was and everything else. I'm going. I'm gonna just gonna stay here. <laughs> yeah, it's right off of uh, Lake Michigan. There. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you were down there, and then of course you made some bonds down there with Port Huron as well. And I think you guys just recently you were actually invited to the opening of a, a baseball indoor training facility. I think there's an amazing thing to yeah. to see going on as far as that stuff goes too. Yeah. So that. Uh, all kind of kind of came about really quickly. Um, 
So a former assistant coach of mine during my college years, uh, Jordan Rohde, he and his business partner kind of entertained the thought of this whole, you know what, this, bring this community together. So mm-hmm. it's called Arc, Arc Rival Training Facility. Yep. And you know what? It's it's something cool for the Port Huron community because they, they don't really have much. Yep. For, for baseball, at least. Yep. You know, they have... Uh, McMoran Arena there, which is very nostalgic for anyone who's played in like an international silver stick. Yeah. Um, but it, it was cool. You know what? That day was, I don't know, it was kind of like a full circle effect. Yeah. Because I know, like, again, like myself, my buddy Paul there, um, we, we always wanted to kind of get back to that area. Mm-hmm. And that, to be able to do that was, was something cool. Oh, well, exactly. And, and uh, I don't know. It, it was just, very full circle moment. Um, the kids loved it. Yep. Um, and honestly, I, I think it's going to be a very successful facility. That's for sure. And no it, it's so close to Sarnia. It's, I know there's a bunch of Sarnia teams that go over there. So yeah, well, it exactly. Awesome. It's the same thing we had in golf when Larry Pearson was running the Royals and everything else. He opened up one of the factories at Linamar because he was the CEO back then. So he's like, oh, we're not using this for anything. So he turned it into a batting cage for the first couple of years. And then he took it from there and bit, built it into Frozen Ropes, which is now, I think, it's peak performance and owned by somebody else. So, Yeah, which is it, super cool yeah. to see that. So. And I think it's just, it just I, I want to say it definitely spearheaded the interest in baseball. Again, I gave the kids in the wintertime an alternative. Okay, we're just going to shoot hockey pucks all day, but at least now they can actually go through yeah. a baseball and not get in trouble oh, for yeah. doing it in the gym or something else. Oh, a thousand percent. Like, all, yeah. Honestly, like a lot of kids... Hockey's not, not it for everybody. No. Uh, like, I grew up in a hockey family. Yep. Uh, um, I had to make the choice at 18. Like, it is what it is. But, you know what, this is another avenue, right, where kids, if they don't want to play hockey and or not financially able to, yep. uh, it gives them another avenue to exactly. continue to become athletes. And, you know what, at any facility that wants to open up, you want good for you for doing that. Yep. Growing up, who were some of your mentors? Who were people that you follow as far as baseball? Who were your Who were your If you're who, your I, I don't want to say want monuments or anything, but who would you put in your top yeah. five as far as those things go? Oh, oh gosh. Um, Is there anybody you modeled yourself after? Yeah, <laughs> as a pitcher. So for me, like for me, like growing up, I'd say like. So Brett Cecil, that that's yep. that's a big one for me. Big um, Brett, yeah. Just based on the looks, yep. right? Like, it, it's not a secret that it's pretty pretty good, you know, with the glasses. Yep. Um, <laughs> playing wise, uh, my, my good friend Paul Fry, yep. um, he, yeah, he's he's still he's still there. He, like, he's uh, yeah, he, he's still throwing the ball really well. Um. A lot of guys that they don't really know who he is. Yep. Google it. Google it. Go Google it. <laughs> Definitely worth it. Uh, I, mean, I don't know. Like me, like growing up as a kid, um, this is this will be a throwback name for a lot of the guys in the league. But uh, Luke Baker. Nice. Uh, yep. um, Kitchen, former Kitchen yeah, Panther. Yeah. It's a family tie there with my dad and, and his line of work, and then his mom and her line of work. Um, yeah, so I was fortunate enough to to watch him play when he played for the Monarchs in London. Yep. And I kind of finished his baseball career in Kitchener. So Yep. And then, then you got the coach and then you know it's kinda of funny we have a there's a photo I took when I was like I had to be when I was eight eight or nine with him when he was playing for the Monarchs. Yep. And I remember his first year back as a manager with Kitchener in London. We actually redid that photo. Nice spot. So um yeah, it meant, for me, it meant a lot. Um, yeah, a full circle thing, right? So, oh, exactly. Yeah, we can't play forever, so might as well get all the cool things while we can. <laughs> oh, exactly. You know, was just in, even with me, as far as stuff goes, and I was telling the stories to my kids just recently again, it's like my first trip down to the Bat Park was, I think, the the summer of 1993. When the Royal, yeah, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was the bat boy with the Royals. Dino Romero was the manager back then, and Dino yeah. was just, I pe- must have peppered Dino with questions constantly. <laughs> I felt like, just go away, kid. I'll tell you all the answers. Just go away. Right. I was always worried I was like annoying him or something. Because I was, again, I was just trying to learn the game. I knew I wasn't going to be good enough to play in this game anymore, but I wanted to have the mindset yeah, and everything. Around it. Like, yeah, exactly. And just like everything else, it was just like I became a sponge for information. I, I picked the brains of Jerome McGarry, the Eric Laskies, the Jay Powers of the. The, who were their imports at the time? And it was just like, okay, just trying to get 
that knowledge so I can import it onto somebody else. Yep, thousand percent. Yep. And then when I was, we came back last year and I got to announce the game at Labatt Park and everything else, it was just kind of, it was really cool at the same time. It was just like, this is sort of sort of full circle too. It's just like, this is where we were and everything else. I remember looking up at the press box going, wow, this place is huge. Yeah. And uh, I was like, well, because a kid my from from Guelph is not going to get a chance to go announce the game at the Rogers Center or anything like that. It's always, you know, hey, right. that's, that's the right. second best, that's the pe- second 100%. coolest place. And yeah, I, was, yeah. and that's a lot, I know a lot of people, especially from like, visiting centers right like they did most of them haven't been to labat park yeah i don't think um but it, it's it's a treat honestly like it especially is. if you like to understand the history of the area and understand yep. just just the history of baseball yeah um there's a lot of cool things that have happened there oh the question there is what, it, it's fortunate enough that the city of london is actually now you know what showed interest in the in the stadium which is yep. awesome um and then they have a lot of history like plaques around the stadium now so it tells yep. you exactly who's played here and yep. just the cool events that have transpired and that's it's also it's cool like a lot of the guys that i know come in play for the majors i can't really speak on them but i know that they're not really fully invested on the history of it like yep. there's no secret like it's like every other team like you know, like, I don't know the history of the Guelph Royals. No. Um, but like being from London and understanding the significance of the area, um, you know, I, you have pride for that. It's, oh, exactly. Uh, it's, no, it's just, and it's just like we, I don't know. Sometimes you just want to go and take some of these young kids that are coming in this ballpark and say, "You have no idea how lucky you are to be playing on this field." Oh, a thousand percent. That's. Uh, <laughs> you just have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, you, you think of all the history in the area and everything else and everything and how it, you know, how close it came to being shut down too. It was just like because yeah. the old grandstand and everything else. It was just like yeah. wow. Oh yeah, that's like, that's like something popped up the other day. It was something about like the initial flood that happened and yep. back in like eighteen something. Yep. Um, but it was cool. Like, they had photos of the original grandstand mm-hmm. before they had to shift it. Yep. And, and you know I I think that's cool because I'm like you know what like I'm there every Friday night I'm there during the week I'm I'm really standing at the exact same spot where these people have stood before me yep. and I don't know, I, I think that's kind of cool like my whole family's really history buffs yeah it's it, nice. it gets annoying after a bit well it's the same <laughs> um, time but it's yeah but it, it's cool now especially when you get that fully fully understand what's going on and you know what it's just I don't know. Visiting fans, you want know, come watch. Oh, exactly. Like, you don't you don't have to cheer for us. It is what it is. You know, say what you want to say to the players. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> At least not at near night microphones. So we don't have to worry about that stuff. But yeah, right. No, right. the ball fours. The guy. I don't know what else. What are, we, what are you guys calling them? Do you call them the ball fours? What do you guys call them? I think they call them the ball flowers. I have zero idea how this whole <laughs> transpired. Yeah. Um, they get rowdy. And they that, do. That's all we know. Like, yeah, they they, 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 the they like their beverages, and then once they, they, oh, yeah. when they start down oh. on the beverages by the sixth or seventh inning, they're definitely all over the opponents pretty badly. But yeah, yeah. But it's like again, it's I don't know. Like we don't really know the whole story about how that transpired. <laughs> to be honest with you, like I know, I think they're soccer cool. fans. I think they were soccer fans originally. Like at least a little small group I met the one day and everything. Yeah. At least they were soccer fans and just oh yeah, it's they just latched onto the majors. Yeah, it's like our version of like the Bushmen. Right? Yeah. Like I love the Bushmen, I respect them. They they love me because they can say what they want. <laughs> I, I, I just try not to crack up. Well, oh, I'm just worried. I'm worried halfway mid through through us pitch or something. You're gonna crack up. You gotta tip your cap or something. It's just like yeah, you got me. Bye. It, it's, it's actually it's actually happened. Um, <laughs> uh, year, I think it had to be 22, and it was like I as in like the I guess in the stretch, as I was coming set, they said something and like. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, I had a smirk, and uh, they caught me on that one. Nice. And, like, I don't even know. I forget what they were yelling at me, but it was just, like, they just got me. And yeah. And they were like, why are you smiling? I was like, oh, God, <laughs> oh, God. No, God. <laughs> I'm coming over to see you <laughs> after this <laughs> inning. <laughs> yeah, but, but they're awesome. Though. Yeah, they, they are. Uh, you know, I got, I got the pleasure of meeting them, too, after a game. Yeah. And, like, for the people in the, in the league, that out. Like again, it's the fine line, right? Of yep. Going too far. Yeah. 
they go to the line. They, yeah, they, they do. don't cross. They don't Those cross it. Off. They know. They know enough not to cross it, especially because right. you know. And then, like they do a good job. You know, like, their their YouTube channel is awesome. Yep. Um, yeah, like it's. I don't know. I, I I I love I love the banter. I I, I thoroughly enjoy it. So. It's always fun. Like okay. sometimes you can hear it from, through Thomas's broadcast. Sometimes you can't. I'm just like going. Right. Jenny hasn't been down there yet. My fiance, she hasn't been down to the to a game at Christie oh, Pitch yet. So yeah. we're trying to figure out a Sunday we can just figure it out. And okay, we're gonna go. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it works. I worked there for four years. I know how it is. Everything else. I'm yeah. just gonna be like, welcome to Christie Pitts. Welcome to the oh, Christie yeah. Crazies. And by the way, there's a Bushman oh, on the hill. <laughs> I, I, I think the best thing too is like, for for me at least my or at least my my perspective is, I'm not in a game. I'm watching this whole thing transpire. Right. Yeah. I'm cracking up in the bullpen. Yeah. Like some of their stuff is absolutely hilarious. Yeah, it is. Like I feel bad for the guy they're getting their ripping off. But I'm like, you know what? Like I want to know how much how much preparation goes into this stuff. Do they have like script meetings or something or storyboard meetings um, halfway throughout the week? And oh, wait, so here's actually a funny story. Um, I think this was 2021. They didn't really know who I was. Yeah. Uh, but I had that was my, when I had my first yellow glove, and I go out there. And they, they've been on guys all day. Yep. I'm out there pitching. This radio silence. And I'm like, what are we doing? Like, <laughs> why are we so like, quiet? Why, why, like, why, are you, why are you quiet right now? Yep. And all of a sudden, like, again, like, I'm, again I'm good on, on social media, right? So yep. I knew at a certain point they were going through it. Yep. Because I think that day I posted a, fo- like a walk-in photo to like Labatt Park. Yep. And then they said something about like nice fedora, nice hat, <laughs> that's the model. Like, oh man! I, I would have like, turned. I would have turned around and gone full gladiator. Are you not entertained? <laughs> right. I'm like, okay, all right. They're doing their research on yep. This is great. Yep. Uh, but you know what? They're awesome. They but, are. Uh, I, respect them. I respect them a lot. So. Exactly. Now it's fun. So we got to get back to the yellow gloves because, of course, the topic came up last year when uh, during one of the majors yep. broadcasts as well. So. I asked you to dig out the one anyways, and what's the story behind them? Um, yeah, so this is like the famous yellow glove yep. uh, from Mizuno. Um, but I don't know. Like for me, I'm a very flashy guy. Yep. And for the first, I don't know, what, seven years? For seven years or something like that, yep. I've had another brand's glove for all into their, their sponsor's league. Mm-hmm. Good for that. Um, I've always had blue gloves. Yep. Um, you can date back to it. It's great. But, you know what? It, nothing was really working from pre COVID. Like, it, yep. I wasn't good. Like, there's no secret to that. Like, I was very average to below average. Yep. Um, <clears throat> then I decided, you know what? I'm gonna, if I'm going to come back, I'm going to do it my way and start enjoying the game again. Yep. And uh, actually, I had a yellow glove way back and Mizuno. So, you know, I was like, you know what? Cool. I'm comfortable with the brand. I'm comfortable with the color scheme. Let's just roll with it. And just the features on it. Um, well, I, I was happy enough where they put my emoji, which is my Instagram yep, and all my fun stuff. Put that there. Who did that for and you I, anyways? I was curious. So behind the story of that too. I, so I, actually, I actually designed that up myself. Nice. Uh, which is cool. Um, I think. Yes. Some people... Probably not. Um, but then dating, well, going back to the whole history stuff of Mizuno. Yep. Um, they're out of Japan. So yep. I got my last name in kanji um, just to kind of pay respect to the brand. Yep. The whole history background of it because, you know, like the Japanese culture, they're very you know, respectful of the game. And, yep. You know, they, they just, they're all for it. So yep. they, they did that for me and I, I was very thankful for it. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, they're great to work with, so yeah. that's for sure. When you think about it, I think, I think you know, baseball, you can't really, I don't know, you can't put your own little flyer or flash of style in the much on there. You can put something on your cleats. You can probably put something right. on the bats. But, yeah, the glove, I think, is the most, I guess, most universally acceptable place to put something. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. For me, like, I'm a, I'm a glove nerd. Yeah. Uh, um, I got way too many. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's not too many. many. You're not Leon only Hemsley. It's not shoes. Got, You're okay. I got a lot. I got a lot. <laughs> um, but I just like to understand how gloves are made. Yep. 
just the quality that's going into it, the craftsmanship, um, just everything. And it's, it's a process. That's for well, sure. It is. Everything it is. Think, you know what? It's just a glove. I'm like, no, no. It's not it's just a, a glove. No, no, it's a piece a, of art. <laughs> it's a piece of art and it's a piece of so, you. It's a tool of your yeah, trade. Like, yeah. For me, it's like, you know what? If I could add my own touch to a piece of history or something that could kind of revolutionize the industry, like, yeah. Why wouldn't I not do that? Oh, exactly. So, yeah, like, I got it's cool. Growing up, of course, we were playing in the, with, with the Reebok pump gloves. Those things are awful. Yeah. <laughs> Exploding yeah. gloves. Yeah. Those things are just, oh, man. And then I think they went yeah. to the gel padding or something after that. And then I'm not sure what they're into these days. I haven't picked up a new glove in a quite a while. So I'll have to come down and see you soon <laughs> as far yeah. as that stuff. All for it. They, yeah. they, we, got some, we got some options. So. Yes. My daughter's been all over me for a glove. She's like, I want to play catch. I'm like, okay, we'll get you a glove this summer. This summer. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, you know, might as well. Yeah. It's- her brother's got her brother's got zero interest in sports, so I'm just like, okay, somebody's got in this in, in this family's got to take up the take up the torch. Or dad's legacy is just going out the window. That's amazing. Yeah, that's too funny. Yeah. So yeah, that's as far as that stuff goes. And now we're going to talk about your number. Like, how did the number sixty three was this? How did that come along? Oh God. Um, okay, a lot of people. A lot of people close to me. Know the real reason. I'm okay. Not gonna tell you the real yeah, reason well, let's not get in trouble um, for anything. <laughs> I can, I'll, t- I'll tell you that after. Yeah. But uh, so I actually started. Again, you, you can you can date back to this one. So my first my first year I was actually 29. Yep. Um, it is what it is. And then the next following year I had to switch it for another player coming back. So I went to 39. Yep. Which is that over there. One. Yep. Um, but that's not the real jersey that I wore. No. Uh, 39 was like a 2x. Yep. I'm not a 2x. Player. No, you're definitely a 2x player. You're like, swimming in that thing. Like, yeah, like no secret. Like <laughs> we're not even like we're pushing a large now. This all yep. like thank God. Yep. Um, but 63 was it's actually a medium jersey. So okay. <laughs> I'm like, you know, it fits. It fits. Right yeah. Good. You know, root pay. We need so, we need a, a size larger this year. <laughs> Yeah, it works. Yeah, and then uh, it's actually funny. So, like, my my mother was kind of like asking the same kind of question, right? But like, I'm not gonna give you give her the really real answer. Cause yeah, not appropriate. No, I can imagine it's something uh, something in that sixty, and then the end of the nine somewhere in there somewhere. But yeah, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> it's all for content. Yeah, um, it's all for yeah, content. But, we'll uh, cut that out later. Yeah, I'll forget. Yeah, but like, so sixty three, like. Didn't know her at the time, like so. She's born in 1963. Okay. And she's like, "Oh, that's so awesome!" I'm like, "Yeah, that that works. That's that why works. we picked that one." There we go. Let's go with that. <laughs> keep everybody keep everybody happy. Oh god, yeah. So yeah, yeah that that's how that transpired. Um, and honestly, it, it just looks cool on the back of a jersey. It does. Um, I hate single digits for pictures. I mean, it just looks stupid. Wow. Um, yeah, it, it's just like it makes you look like you're swimming in the jersey yeah if you're not big no exactly and then you got oh. chirped by aiden aiden riley on, on social media after garton went off i hit the i think he hit the scoreboard or off the scoreboard last year last year yeah. i was just like i could not believe that <laughs> i was just hey. like geez yeah i think you give a you grand slip to garton i was always like aiden riley sean riley's son is chirping him chirping you know chirping what? people I'm on on all, instagram i'm all for it yeah uh <laughs> you know what? Garden got every stitch of that. Ball. Yeah, he did. I was... Like he hit it, and I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, we're not getting that one back." Yeah, I was, I, was, I, was scor- I was scoring that game. I was just like, "Yeah, I don't think that's coming back." Like, I don't know how close the camera angle got to me, but like, again, it's, it's one of those seasons, right, where nothing went right. No. So right when he like right when he hit it, like, well, he hit one yeah. foul pretty hard down the line too, and I was just yeah. like. Yeah, like he hit it, and I started like just giggling. I was like, "Fuck!" Of course that happens. Like yeah. it is what it is. Yeah. Like I think it was was it was it a three two pitch, or was it? Yeah, so I think it was a three two three two changeup. Pitch before that, pretty sure it was a strike. But hey, it is what it is. Yep. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know what? Like back to the whole like chirping thing. It is. I don't care. No. Like I don't care. 
Honestly. I just thought it was oh, funny. A nine year old chirping, you know, I was just like, oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, yo, I, I, I'm out for it. Like, yeah. That, that's, that's great. You know what? At least he's engaged. Yeah, he is. That's all. I'd, rather, I'd rather see that than a kid being on video games constantly. Like, yeah. yeah. So, no, exactly. You know what? His dad's, his dad's a great ball player. Like, he is, yeah. There's no mistake here why he's the greatest home run hitter of all time in the league. Like, guy mashes. Yep. So. Yeah, it's whatever. Like, I'm not too upset about it. Yep. Guys you hate facing in this league. I don't know, Josh Garden. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, I don't know. I, uh, Is there anybody you just know you, you, when you see him come up to the box going, okay, he's got my number. Like, I don't know what I can do to get um, this guy out. I don't. Okay, so the only guy that I can really think of off the top of my head, he's not even in the league anymore. Uh, Justin Gideon. Yeah, but he's a, he, he's the hardest I've ever had to do in my life. Like, yeah, he just he no he finds a way to get his hands on the ball. Doesn't matter where it, where it is in the zone. Yeah, he'll throw his barrel out. Like, yeah. like he he's hit a lot of bombs off me too. And like you know what? I'm like, hey, you know what? I'll take my cap to you. Like you're 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 a really good ball player. Mm-hmm. Like, but <clears throat> I don't know. I can't really I can't really think of anybody that. You know, I just don't want to face like I don't know, like like I love I like I love competition. I, I love to compete with dudes that are at the top of their game. Like that's just I don't know, it's something that in, interests me. I guess like I don't know, like I remember like my first well my first ever strikeout was uh Lee, was Lee Delfino. Wow. And like, <laughs> yeah, so like yeah, like, yeah. whoa, like, yeah, but like. When he came up, like, like I, I know exactly who Lee Delfino was. Like, yep. that guy mashed. Yep. And, like, all I could picture as a young, I think I was 18 or 19 at the time, was the home run they hit off of uh, Spall Jarrett. Everybody still talks about that one. Yeah. Because so Spall Jarrett followed him around the diamond. <laughs> yeah. So, like, that's going through my brain. And I'm yeah. like, dude, this guy's a hit one of the goddamn river. <laughs> I mean, he's the exact yeah. same. And then I'll never play again. Yeah. Like, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> so, and in the worst part, I think, I think before that, I'm going to walk the bases loaded. Oh, wow. That was my first real ever appearance. So, you so would have faced. Time, the bases loaded. You would have faced Josh McCurdy. I'm trying to remember their lineup yeah. then. And it was yeah, just. Like, uh, there were some dudes. Yeah, there were some. There were some, there were some mashers in that lineup. I probably Scotty Storman was probably even there at that time. No, that was, it was the year after. Okay, so. Which honestly, I was really hoping I would have played against him, but that didn't happen. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like, back to the original question. Um, I would say, I, don't know, I hate to face anybody. Like, yeah. It's a one v one opportunity. I got a lot of it. So. Yeah. Now do you do you keep a do you keep notebooks on guys? Do you keep it in the back of your head? Do you just kind of have mental? It's more the back of my head situation, um, especially with dudes I've already already faced. Yeah, like I kind of have a, an idea of how they like to hit. Um, like again, going back to again, you're you're do a lot of stuff with, with wealth. Yeah, um, dude, like the Moro brothers, like yep. oh, like they're good. Yeah, like, Corey and Connor, they're just like yeah. Yeah, like again, I got faced Connor a couple of times. Connor's hit a couple of tanks off me, one on Canada Day, which is on film. Yeah, um, it's great. Um, <laughs> but I got I got to face his brother Corey, and I, and I remember it clear. I think this was it was later this past season. Yeah, we intentionally walked someone to get to Corey. Um, back my brain, I'm like, oh, no, 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 don't want to do this. Not. I'm like, this is not like again. There's there, there's a some caliber of the young guys, right? Yep. Like he's not one of the lower end guys. No. Like, but he, he's is, got, a, he's definitely got an upswing to him. He's got a, he's definitely got an yeah, upside. Like he, that's, like he, he's a dude. Yeah. And literally first pitch right at the middle. And I'm like, nah, yeah. Nah. But so, like, so probably like, scored two, maybe three. Like, sorry, yeah. But like, like I wasn't going to get this guy to ground out. Like this guy barrels balls. Yeah. Like, yeah. So yeah. Like, Oh, the league's getting better. It's awesome. <laughs> like, I've been in it for too long. <laughs> <laughs> for too long. Said by nobody. Not even yeah, our needy. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I'm going, like, going, on, it's my ten, going on 10 years here. Yeah. Like, I it's love it. I love, again, I love the com- competition. I love to see the young kids that are really good. Yeah. And even now, like, I respect the older guys, too, that have been there forever. They like, grind. And, like, yeah. it's just so cool, right, to see how they prepare for games and, you know, I like 
That's awesome. It's, so. Yeah, definitely. We've seen the preparation from you, even as far as the Instagram posts and everything else, the tweet, the social media, as far yeah. as been hitting the gym a little bit more, a little bit of little weight training. You're trying yeah. to bulk up a little bit. You're just trying to repair things from last year without. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Just try to forget about last year. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I enjoy, I enjoy just going to the gym. Um, it's a baseball facility. So it's yep. just the whole camaraderie of the facility it's just mm -hmm. it keeps you engaged with what's going on um and again, i get to i get to see legit young really good talent and you know like when they like to see live pitching i'm like hey you know what i'll, I'll throw you yeah we're probably gonna hit the ball really hard <laughs> but like i will spin the ball i'll show you some stuff that you're probably not gonna see at that at their level, yep. Because um, like right now, like, especially the the younger kids, like the the, the one percenters, yep. put it that way mm -hmm. of the baseball world, right? Like they're very talented, right? Yep. But they're more, especially the pitching side, is let's reach back, throw as hard as we physically can, and just try to blast it past somebody. Yeah, but that's all they see. Yeah, they've never got to experience a slider, curveball, changeup. That's that. That's what I throw. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna reach back and throw a fastball, buddy. Like that's that's highly impossible. No, exactly. And you um, you won't be in the game so, long enough to to want to wanna, after throw on too many of those things, anyways. Be like, yeah, I'm done. Right. right. So like, I don't know. For me, I'm fortunate enough to I can throw that to the kids, and it makes them better. It makes me better. I think it's, it's overall a great great time. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know. We're, we're trying different techniques. You know. We're, I'm getting older. Yep. Older. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I just, I don't know. Some training methods are good for some people and some are not. So I like to see where, what I can do. Yep. Especially the, especially the flexibility side of it. That That's something new in my world. So, um, I don't know, I'm enjoying it. That's for sure. So is there anything, what, what are your goals for this year as far as for Braden Farrington? Don't suck. Don't suck. <laughs> Um, I don't know. For me, it's more uh, like compete. Yeah. Um, like, like last year, you know, I was very, I was proud of myself for the way I ended the season. Yep. Um, it, last year, it literally gave you every reason to pack it up. Yep. Like, here you go. You've won two championships. You're now done with baseball. Yeah. Um, that, you know, that was an easy door. Like, go for it. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I stuck with it just due to pride, I think. Yep. So you didn't I'm want to go out like that either. Yeah. You still, you think so, there's still something left in the tank and then right. you got still, so some, still got something to prove to yourself. Right. So I think this year is more see what I can do. Um, again, and then even that not put too much pressure on myself to do too much. Um, yeah, that, that's my main thing is just go out, enjoy the game. Don't stress so many little things. And, if it's meant to be, it's very much meant to be. Um, and then even that, like, kind of help the kids along the way. Like, oh, exactly. I, know, I know the team is signing a bunch of young guys as well as a lot of established dudes. Yep. So, yeah, me being around the league a long time, me understanding baseball from a business standpoint, um, it's just kind of helping the kids out because it's yeah, well, exactly. Sometimes they get overwhelmed, right? Like, and I've been there. Well, like, exactly. I, well, we had we all had somebody that took us under the wings and everything else, and then it's, it's just time where you get to that certain level, of maturity and everything else, and just become you become that guy and that you can become that voice in the clubhouse. You can become that shoulder for the the youngster to, to, to crawl up to and say, "Okay, yeah, show me the way." Yeah, like for me, like I've never been, I've never been vocal. That's just something that it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, um, but it's more. Now, I don't know. I, I, I could be vocal, like maybe maybe try a little bit. But you know what? Sometimes you just want to have a conversation. You don't need to start barking orders. No, you just want to. That, that's, you, you, that's when you shut down real fast. Yeah. You take you take them aside or something. And say, hey, I'm noticing you're doing this or something. Hey, if you want to try it this way, right? It might help. Hundred percent. Yeah. So. Yeah, like I know we've had we had a, a couple of young kids last year, like Alex Springer, right? Like yep. he, he showed up out of, basically out of nowhere. Yep. And he dominated for the first couple of outings. And it was just like, hey, like my big thing for him was hey, breathe. Yeah. Like 
all the time, people forget to breathe, as silly as that sounds. No, it is, because like, he gets in that mindset. It's like, okay, get the yeah. ball back, got to throw it now. Rather than, right, okay, exactly. just take a relax yeah, here. Throw their, mess with yeah. their, mess with their heads a little bit in the box here. 100%. And that's where a lot of things go wrong when you try to, again, do too much, right? Or yep. the game's up on you really fast. It's like, hey, you just, the game doesn't go unless you throw the baseball. Exactly. They're, so, waiting, on, they're waiting on you, they're, they're, you know. Yeah. They can't go yeah. without you, so. <laughs> 100%. So, and that was my big message to the kid. And, uh, you know, he, he very much succeeded, yeah. I think, in, in, in a short time with the team. And uh, I know he's coming back. Well, that's now, good. But I think he's coming back. I think he's coming back. We think he's coming back. I haven't seen the roster. I haven't seen the league rosters officially anyways. Yeah. I just kind of. So, you know, I, I think going off that success, coming into a full season, I, I think he'll be fine. Yeah. I think he'll, he'll be really great, so. Uh, one other thing we have to touch on is, of course, the documentary. The majors were yeah. being filmed up last year and everything else. I'm excited to look for this finally because, you know, I was there a couple yeah. times and they're filming behind me and everything else. I'm going, I'm just kind of curious if I actually made it to one of these scenes. <laughs> That's the yeah. yeah, you know, like, the documentary was great. Um, a lot of people, they had, they had their own opinions of it. Yeah. Uh, but again, like, I'm not, me personally, I'm not shy with a camera. I'm not. Nope. I'm not going to, yeah, like, it's. Like a normal conversation that we're having. Yep. So, just to have another person there, it's not going to change the way I do it. No. Um, I'm kind of curious on what they're going to put in it. Yeah. Because I know, like, I, I was, I, I was my whole, I was myself the whole time. Yep. Uh, I didn't hold back sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know what? I probably should have, with the camera being there, but. At the same time, you, you can't deviate off that. It's like it, it would have came off looking feeling, like, in the back of your head. It's like, man, I really just looked like I was faking the whole time. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. Like, you, you want to make it look legit. And yeah. uh, this is, this is going to be a really good production. Like, I've seen some stuff, some clips from Mark. Um, yeah, it, it's going to be really good. And I think it's really going to be really good for the league. Yeah. I think that's that's the main, I, not the main purpose, but I think the main thing is to kind of get the league out there yep. to get more eyes. And well, exactly. this, is, this is one heck of a way to do it. Yep. I was like, this is other than like Netflix. This is, this is up there. Yep. And, uh, what's going right on Crave, isn't it? Or something. What's going it's on, on? So Bell, Bell TV. Yeah. So I, I think, think it'll be on the on demand section. Yep. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be a fun time. I know I'm just hoping some clips that I, I was in for don't make it. <laughs> You're hoping they wind up in the B roll so they don't go, go quite go out there? Yeah, I get it. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, for me, again, back to the season, it was frustrating for everybody. Yeah. I was frustrated. I said some things I probably shouldn't have said. Um, but, no. It's authentic. Like, no, if exactly. You, hey. If you feel attacked, then maybe it is what it is. No. But, I don't think you were attacking I, I, anybody. I think that was pretty. Pretty mellow and yeah, pretty real half the time. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like people need to be more personable and not boring sometimes. So. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we're gonna wrap up very, but I'm gonna give you an opportunity to promote your stuff, promote your wares, promote promote your stuff. Yes, promote your merch, promote all that fun oh, stuff. No, um, <laughs> I have I have hats. I got I got shirts coming. Nice. Um, you're gonna see it in the documentary. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all. That's all I'm gonna say. It's kind of right. cool. It kind of goes with the glove that you've seen. Yep. Today, um, it kind of goes with that kind of theme. So nice. They're fun. It, it's, no, it's, it is fun stuff. Like, you want to buy it? You don't want to buy it? Hey, it's fine. You make uh, a, you make a few <laughs> extra bucks out of it by all means. Yeah, I, you know, I'm just here to make people have fun. Exactly. Like, if you don't buy it as a gag gift, hey, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. There's worse yeah. gag gifts you can buy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> There's a lot worse gag gifts you can buy. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Brayden, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, I really I do appreciate this, man. Being I, here. I really had a lot of fun, man. We're going to have to definitely do this again soon. Oh, yeah. It's, whoever the next person coming in <laughs> to interview the podcast, hey, you know what? Be real. Have fun. Enjoy it. Yeah. But, like, you're only playing in this league for X amount of years. Once you're done, you're done. Yep. So, whoever's up next. Watch out. Go. Have some fun. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. 
Brandon, thanks so much. We'll see you real soon. Best of luck to the London majors this season. Thank you. Thank you, sir.